welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be taking a look at the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette. I got this in the mail yesterday and I had ordered it the day prior to that so it actually shipped really really fast. It's currently available at Sephora online and I believe it will be in stores starting in October. For my base, I didn't really do my base on camera, but I did use the same stuff I used in my last video. I used the Fenty Beauty foundation in the shade 490 and 410, and I used this as my all-over shade, both of these, mixed them together to get my all-over shade, as well as did my contour with 490 and my highlight with 410, and I love the finish it gives every single time. So, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe. Do not forget to subscribe on your way out. Also, I am doing a giveaway of Fenty Beauty products. Um, that's on my previous video, so you can check that out in order to find out how to win. Anyways, let's get into this. So to start off with, I'm actually going to go in with the Fenty Line Primer and Foundations. I'm going in with the shades 410 and... 490 and I'm gonna mix them in order to get my desired shade I really do like the consistency of this foundation. I like how buildable it is. I like the coverage um, That it does give and I like the fact that it is matte and requires very little powders Going in once again with the Fenty Beauty foundation in the shade 410 I'm going to highlight underneath my eyes and going in with the foundation shade in 490 I'm going to use this as a contour around my face. Great, so now we are back with our base done and our brows, and we are going to now take a look at the Huda Beauty Desert, Desert Dusk Palette. This is what it looks like. It is so absolutely beautiful. Um, packaging is A1 right off the bat. These are what the shadows look like as well. I think I'm gonna first go in with the shade Amber. Amber is right here. Now I know I look like somebody's auntie with this scarf on my head, but let's just ignore that, okay? That's gonna be changed in a little bit. So let's get started. I'm gonna take Amber on my brush, buff it into my crease. These shades are really easy to blend. The pigmentation is there, as you can see, it's showing up on my skin tone. It blends in really nicely across the lid. So I'm going to be going in with Oud, which is, I believe, the darkest matte shade in the palette. And that's Oud right there. That's a really nice, it's like a cranberry brown. That's how I would describe this. I'm also going to go in on the inner corner as well and start building this shade up to the crease area and this is the sasha cosmetics matte this is a blush actually in the shade matte brown and then i'm going to go in and deepen up closer to the lash line Just really pack that product right in there. Blazing is this really pretty orangey shade on this side. And this is more for just kind of blending the colors together. I'm going to take a bit of the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Toffee. And I'm going to just kind of just clear out this middle space here. I'm going to go in with the shade Blood Moon. Ooh, these shadows apply really nicely with a brush. Like, look at how much that... Because you know how sometimes, like, these sheen-like shades, they don't pick up nicely on brushes, but this, this picks up really nicely. And I'm going to take this and put this in the center. Oh, my God. That applied really nicely. Now, I will say that it did have fallout, but it applied really nicely. Uh, okay, here's the thing about fallout with this shadow palette. Even my trick for picking up fallout is not working. It literally blends in. So you have to be so careful if you have fallout with this. 
I'm going to go in with Turkish Delight on the same brush. Turkish Delight is more of like a um, burgundy, wineish shade. Go back in with oud, oud and amber around the edges. Going with the Sigma Short Shader, a brush, the E20, and I'm going to go into oud. I'm gonna go in with blazing and amber I'm gonna leave it at this I'm gonna do the second eye pop up some lashes and then come back okay so we are back I just need to apply a little bit of mascara to my left eye just to smoke that out we're going in with the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara Go in with the MAC blush in Raisin. The, it's like a warm burgundy, like a raisin. <laughs> okay, and I think this complements this look very nicely, especially with the tones um, in the palette. So that's why I'm gonna go in with this blush. So I'm just dragging this blush backwards just to make sure everything blends smoothly. Tell me I don't look like a bomb auntie right now with my headscarf here. <laughs> this is the Mil Milani blush in Luminoso. Um, it doesn't pick up color on my skin tone. However, it adds, adds such a beautiful sheen, like a bridal glow literally to my cheeks. I'm going to go in with my Sigma Beauty tapered highlighter brush, the F35. Artist Couture highlighter, the diamond glow powder. I'm just going to swirl my brush. You see, they're so like they, literally. This is gonna last me the next 25 years. This highlighter. This is the Art Couture eye highlighters last forever. To go in with a little bit of the Fenty Beauty highlighters in. Ginger Binge Moscow Mule. I'm going to be going in with Moscow Mule. I just got this lipstick. This is the YSL Rouge for Loop Shine. Can you guys tell that I'm obsessed with the color pink? Like, is it obvious at this point? can't help it I like that even without a lip liner it doesn't look it doesn't look crazy I think I want to go in with a little bit of the Fenty gloss just because it is clear and I want this to be I like my lips really glossy oh my god <laughs> I love this look I'm gonna spray some Fix Plus, and then I'm gonna take my cornrows out and comb my hair out, okay? <sighs> Obsessed with this look already. Obsessed. God. This is my natural hair. Shape it to a desired shape. All of my hair can't even fit into the into the screen. <laughs> um, I finally brushed my hair out, so <laughs> we can finally get this video over with. I'm definitely gonna say this is more of a rebuy for me, and the reason why I say that is because, first off, in terms of pigmentation, the shadows are highly, highly pigmented, and the shades work very, very well. On my skin tone so I do believe darker skin tones will be able to wear these shades you know the only two funny shades are these right here which are desert sand and musk 
However, I believe that if used correctly, they actually can be put to use. Musk can be used as a blending shade, like a gradient shade, in order to blend colors in the crease and diffuse them nicely. Desert Sand can be used as a brow bow highlight. Um, underneath the, the brow so i do believe that in terms of pigmentation this is on point the only shadow i'm a little iffy about is cosmo which is the pressed the glitter shade here let me see it's a daring glitter it says you can apply the pure glitter all over or line eyes with a firm flat blush to give you a look of playful hint of shine so it does say that the pure glitter can be used um however i didn't feel like going too crazy with this look especially because i'm already wearing my hair out like this today and i rarely ever do i love the combination of shades in here there's transition shades you get great transition colors in here with amber oud saffron and blazing so you have shades that are more on the orangey side and then you have more warm cranberry reds in here as well the pressed pearls the i believe blood moon and Turkish Delight are one of those. Those are those are the two that I use on my lids. Pigmentation is on point. I didn't even have to spray Fix Plus onto my brush in order to get this to work. So I will say that pressed pigments are also on point. Mattes are on point. I didn't try the glitter, but from the look of it, it looks like it will fall out. So you do have to be careful with how you decide to use it. I am absolutely, I'm obsessed with this palette. The packaging, I mean, come on guys, like, look at this thing absolutely beautiful so this is definitely a rebuy for me don't forget to check out some of my other videos on my channels i did a review on the fenty beauty uh line i picked a few items from the collections and don't forget my fenty beauty giveaway is still on and will be on until friday of this week so don't forget to make sure you check out that video in order to enter to win Thank you so very much for watching this video let me know what you guys think of this look um and if you have any other requests for videos that you would like me to to do or um makeup tutorials you would like me to do or any other products you would like me to review please let me know down in the comment section below don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up because it lets me know that you are liking the content that you are seeing and that you would like to see more like these and don't forget to subscribe on your way out and I will see you in my next tutorial. Stay blessed and stay golden.